The new building over the priest bath is 74 by 44 feet and is divided into two compartments, one for the ladies and one for the gentlemen. Each compartment consists of two public baths with comfortable private dressing rooms and six private baths. The building is made almost entirely without nails as the fumes from the sulphur baths destroy almost every kind of metal except gold and nails made from that metal would be rather too expensive. The Rotorua government gardens were established in the late 19th century after local Maori gifted land that they had designated for the benefit of the people of the world. The gift included thermal springs which were thought to be beneficial to people's health. Mineral water was believed to cure arthritis, rheumatism and skin complaints and improve medical conditions such as gout, impotence, obesity, hemorrhoids, liver disorders and eye problems. Drinking mineral water was sometimes recommended in order to cure insomnia, goiter and even syphilis. The New Zealand government decided to promote Rotorua as a health spa, similar to those in Europe, such as Baden-Baden. It had recently set up its own tourism department, one of the first in the world, and hoped that a great southern spa at Rotorua would attract wealthy international visitors. But would overseas invalids come all the way to New Zealand for treatments? The added attraction of the impressive volcanic landscape around Rotorua and the opportunity to view Māori culture at places like Whakarewarewa were seen as major draw cards. At the turn of the century, the government began to develop the complex at the government gardens, including the impressive and opulent bathhouse. When it was finished in 1908, the bathhouse was able to treat a thousand visitors per day in its inhalation rooms, mud baths and sun baths. It also offered electric treatments, the government promoted the bathhouse as the place to go for cures for anything from skin disease to brain fag. Patients from the nearby hospital were carried to the thermal baths by wheelbarrow. Some of the more bizarre treatments included a hot air bath which exposed a patient to intense dry heat from electric wires and a water bath which an electric current passed through. Around this time, the government appointed a balneologist Dr. Arthur Volman combined his knowledge of medicine, chemistry, engineering and landscape gardening to analyse the mineral content of water from a thermal area and report on its likely medical benefits. He also assessed the tourist potential and development needs of each thermal area. As well as overseeing the development of the Rotorua bathhouse, Volman wrote three books about spas and hot springs. Though he was an Englishman, Volman's German name meant he was a victim of anti-German hysteria during the First World War, so he changed it to Herbert. Many patients used the government garden facilities, including hundreds of returned soldiers wounded in World War I, but it never attracted the large international tourist market that the government had hoped for. After World War II, scientific evidence was presented which debunked the supposed curative effects of spas, and their popularity waned. In addition, maintenance was extremely costly as the steamy, acidic atmosphere inside the bathhouse corroded pipes and caused paint to turn black. The once magnificent bathhouse was closed in 1966 and was converted into the city's museum. Men and women were segregated at the bathhouse, but at the Blue Baths, which opened in 1933, people could apparently enjoy movie-style glamour and men and women could get almost naked, together, in public. These pools were a response to changes in the tourist industry, with people wanting more vigorous activities in heated baths, such as swimming and diving. Rotorua is still a popular tourist destination and has maintained this focus on activity-based tourism, as well as showcasing its thermal areas and Maori culture. Popular tourist activities in Rotorua today include trout fishing and adventure experiences such as the luge, mountain biking and zorbing. Like commercial bungee jumping, zorbing was invented in New Zealand. <laughs>